everybody, welcome back. We, we've gotten a couple of 10 pieces this week. They've all been pretty, pretty crazy, if I dare say so myself. Let me be like a fatherly piece. Um, I'd say that describes me. Um, regardless, I mean, I, I don't really know what to say, except that I, I hope we're kind of piecing together a mental model for how the weekly is going to work this week. And if we're going to overdose on a weekly, I'm glad uh, that it's a weekly like this, where it's a little bit... Give me this for now. Um, it's, it's a little more wide open in terms of the synergies. It's not just literally, at least, I mean, it's only Monday today, to be fair, but it seems like it's not just... Uh, Hippo, 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 hippo. There's a little elephant triceratops for sure, but it's also there's some interesting stuff you can you can pull off this weekly as we've seen. Would you give me a level? Would you give me an early guinea fowl and just support it as as best as you can? I would absolutely also love to just take a door head ant. I think it's what I, what I don't want to do is go too all in on the door head ant because it seems to fall off mid to late. But in the early game, it's just, uh, it's a disgusting unit of the highest order. I mean, everything's going great so far. I mean, the guinea fowl seems to help you out in the mid game as well. Um, mostly just it having 5 HP is kind of, it's kind of nice. Puts it uh, in a class of its own early on here. We're just going to keep this going as is. I uh, was really hoping maybe we get another pug or something like that. Next round, baboons come around. I don't know how to feel about that. Could be, could be good, could be bad. I noticed we got a little uh, great minds think alike. I think that your mind might be a little greater. I think your mind is a little greater. Congratulations on your elephants. Jiggle my puffs. Jiggle me puffs. Jiggle my puffs. Jiggle me puffs. Anyway. There's a problem here. I think I think you gotta go. And a 5-6 cockroach will like do as well as a snail in position one if we had to do it that way. It sucks to lose the stats, but we know that a cockroach isn't sticking around long term, so like why why belabor the point? Now you can come out, you can help us. And then I'm thinking like Guinea fowl with garlic getting some HP from a sea lion. I know it sounds a little bit like a Dr. Seuss novel or something, but we got the chance to, to do something here. Maybe not much, but something. Maybe. Four piece, four piece, four piece, four piece. Ooh, the B difference. Sell me. Purchase me. Guinea fowl up in front. This doesn't seem ideal to me. But we, we do what we must because we can. And what the pug gives two XP is possible we get level three. This, this to me, right now, I think our team is relatively strong, which to me means that now is a reasonably good time to like go in on what's working. We draw. And what, what works quickly would be a pivot to trumpets. So like if we could get an antelope, if we're being honest, no disrespect to the moth, but the deer is just a, it's a good enough unit to keep around. We got potential levels incoming. We're buying cans as an insurance policy. We, we didn't get our trumpet pivot, but we need the, I, I forget what tier the antelope is. You've, you've broken my heart. You took away so many hurt triggers from me. And for what reason? You're doing it for nothing. Killing me won't bring back your gosh darn honey. That's, uh, I believe that's, Nicholas Cage in The Wicker Man. This is one of the most heartbreaking losses I've ever experienced. I really thought we had a chance in there. <clears throat> Can me? Can me yet again? Don't give me my level yet. I'm going crazy mode. And give me another deal. We'll take our level next turn. We'll still have, at a minimum, we'll have two life left. And we've stacked more HP on the Guinea Fowl. Admittedly, he's only going to be level one right now. So it's, uh, we're getting a little bit out, outclassed by the, the caliber of our enemies. But you know what? You know what I always say to that? I always say, blessed are the forgetful, for they get the better even of their blunders. A little, little Alexander Pope quote for you. And you better be mighty forgetful on this one, because I don't want you to remember what just happened to us there.
I really thought we, we stood a chance. Give me my level. This unit's like too good to be denied, but I, I'm just so trumpet-pilled right now. Could I get an antelope, please? Could I please get an antelope? I'm asking you nicely. I'm asking you, please, can I get an antelope? Well, to me, it seems realistic that we're going to not do well here. <laughs> we'll see. The great thing about the balancing for me in Super Auto Pets is that the worse you do, the worse teams you play against. So we're actually, like, it's it should be somewhat self-balancing in that regard, which is nice. Um, I think that we may have to bail on you. I don't think you're doing what we needed you to do, honestly. So I'm going to, I recognize that this will not, you know what? This will buy us a space in the shop for a walrus. Goodbye. And then, yes, give me a walrus. And then this will give, that gave us the space in the shop to get something else out there. And now we actually, it's amazing how quickly things can, I mean, we don't have much life left, to be honest. But it's amazing how quickly things can potentially come together. Because we have like a pretty good shark pivot in here. The only thing we're missing is the shark. Which is obviously like a pretty critical element, but it's nice nonetheless. Holy cow, wait a minute. What did you tell what, what the greatest death touch of all time in human history? And I think our sea lion is is actually is doing something for us. It's more than you can say about a lot of units we've run in the past. Some chocolate? New chocolate. You should stay buff so I have a great excuse to keep you around. Remember, what are we looking for? A shark? Maybe a vulture or something like that, but they would go... They, either of those would go crazy. 11.34? Wait a minute, I got lucky again. But you're, this is not going to be enough, because you're spitting out a 17... A 17... Seven, an 18.18 dog? A better than 18.18 dog? Wait, 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 an anteater? It's just enough to give me some hopium, even though there's absolutely no mathematical chance this could work for us. A shark. Shark me? Well, first I'm going orca, to be honest. But then I'm selling you. I'm going shark me. I recognize you're giving the shark attack. So let's give him some extra scaling here. Orca's going to spit out two random faint friends. Imagine if it spit out... A we should move the orca up so that it could spit out a taper that could then spit out a deer. Oh, no! <laughs> I think we needed that death touch to be where it is. I'm very thankful for that, at least. It, it might not be enough, but it might be enough. Oh my god, it's enough. Insanely lucky that we got the death touch exactly where it needed to be. My word. Um, I really wanted to see a level, man. I'm gonna move you up one. I know I know it sounds insane. I'm gonna move you up one in the hopes that you spit out a taper, which then spits out a deer, which would just help our shark out that much more. And that, on the other hand, is not the ideal death touch. Blobfish? I mean, at least it, it spat out a sheep, which is really good for our shark. My god, we got a draw. Perhaps one of the luckiest draws I've ever seen in my many years on planet Earth. Nope. Nah. Nah. Yeah. I'm thinking I'm back. I've At this point, we're getting like way too much um, uh, defense and not nearly enough attack. So I'm like, maybe we got to move our sea lion up to the front and start feeding some attack backwards, but... Uh, I wouldn't worry too much about that right now. Please, the only way we even stand a chance, you gotta death touch the deer. Oh, it's the, the worst possible scenario! Roxas Impersonator gets... 
Not the first time we've seen you. L listen, the only reason I got the chance to get unlucky is because I got so lucky in the first place. So I, I, I'm not going to cry about that one. The teams that we... Some of the teams we beat were better than me. You'd be like a confused whippersnapper. Like me when I give my two-year-old daughter a rotary telephone and tell her if she can't figure out how to call Pizza Hut, we're not eating dinner that night. You gotta teach kids valuable skills these days, like how to use outdated technology that hasn't existed since like, you know, the late 1980s. Before you dispute me, A, I made that up. Source, I made it up. B, my grandparents had a rotary telephone in their house when I was a young lad. I've seen photos of me. I can still feel the way that the, the buttons felt in my fingers, okay? So don't you start with me. Actually, the last rotary telephone was made by um, Nortel in 1969. Yeah, but back in the old days, people actually kept their stuff. They didn't just throw it in the paper shredder when the new iPhone came out because it's got 17 more camera lenses on it. Makes me sick. We should at least run Pug just for flexibility. But this is like an absolutely god-awful start. Like, this is horrendous. I think it should be like... <laughs> like that. <laughs> Not that it really matters. At, at the, the very least, the squad has some stats. Not, like, a lot of stats. Enough to win, though. At least uh, enough to win on round three. I sleep? We'll take our level right now. We got more levels incoming, hopefully. Pug's sticking for now, so let's give him one of those. An actual level next turn as well. Again, the, the level up doesn't really help us in battle at all. It helps the moth get more attack. Which actually was relevant right there. Much to my surprise. But we're, we're still gonna... Oh, yeah, we're still gonna lose this one. That's okay. It's to be expected the way our squad's looking right now. But now, level me. Interesting. Delightful, even. Buy me. I'm gonna go ahead and say combine me. Buy me. And then I know you're not gonna be the biggest fan of this. But sell me for a door head ant. And we're just gonna try to give the... Actually, like this. Try to give the porcupine the most buffs, but it's like... I'm still pretty bearish on this team as well. <laughs> we did what we need to do, but they got extra gold out of it. If this was versus, we'd be, uh, we'd be displeased. Why don't you take one of those? Why don't you take one of these? Definitely not interested. I think time has come. Now, the baboon is, like, useless this turn. But next turn, it'll start bu buffing a porcupine. Now, have I ever gotten a porcupine to actually use its effect effectively? Um, you, it's illegal for you to ask me that, quite frankly. So I, I'm choosing to plead what is known as the Fifth Amendment. Or in Canada, I'm, uh, I've been advised by my barrister and solicitor to uh, invoke my 30, uh, Charter 37 rights. Now the squad layout is fine. Why don't you go ahead? I know it's a little crazy. And we'll, we'll give you some buffs here. We're just going to try to keep you moving. At this point, 12 HP and garlic. Maybe we would put the moth buff onto the porcupine next round. Holy cow. A hit tweet. Are we, we're, we're smoking them? We're doing damage? I never thought that this could happen. That's the most useful porcupine I've ever had on my squad in my entire life. Full stop. No questions asked. Uh, let's keep the buffs going on this slad right here. Sell me. Buy me. Give him some uh, uh, defense because defense is attack for him. Rest of the squad, honestly, we know we're waiting for chocolate next time. Let's just embrace a potential future pivot. I hate that the baboon buffed the dragonfly on that one. This is the case of subtraction via addition. Oh my god, what is this unit? You're the strongest unit that mankind has ever created. We're on two life. That's not good. I've been pretty cracked at being horrible at the mid game this week. Or the early game, even. 
You know, one easy way out of this, um, for, a, for a minute at least, we're on tier fives. Sell your moth. Pug goes to lion. This lion is guaranteed to be like a, almost a 2020, plus he's getting the buffs from the baboon and maybe the dragonfly. And I would love to just, I, I'd love the stature up even a little bit more. You, of course, have to recall with the lion that if we take a tier six unit, it's Jover um, or another tier five for that matter. Oh, he's gotten stronger than the, he's about to get stronger than the pug, which means, to, you know what? That's fine. That's fine. It just means we'll, we'll move the pug to another unit once he gets to level two officially. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just give me more chocolate. And then, then it's not Jover. Then it's, it's just Joe. It's just by dinning. I tried. Wait for it. Wait for it. It's gonna happen. Possibly could have gone skunk, but you know what? We take those, and then we have to sell the cow so the lion actually works. You should give your buff here. You should come up to the front. You can come out for a minute. But if we're, if we're running lion, then this is it. Like, we can't take any tier four, tier five units on the squad. So, prepare yourself. Like, this is, this is your starting lineup. So you better be darn sure that like this is this you're you're content going with this squad long term ride or die status. Now it worked out more beautifully than I could have possibly imagined. I am very appreciative of this. The lion still deserves some buffs, but we don't want to over buff it, obviously. Next thing that would be amazing for us. I can't believe I'm doing this, but next thing that would be amazing for us would be uh, Porcupine getting to 50-50. I don't think we could sell our pug either. Like our pug, it's not that crazy from a stat standpoint, but it's like good enough that I can't, uh, can't just be throwing it out. How much higher can the pitch get? We've done it, okay. At the very least, we've got some... It's a respectful run. It's not a disrespectful run. You're going to get statted enough. I think we need to start buffing the porcupine. Better make sure you know what you're cooking here, man. Are we going four squatted? Not necessarily. This could go crazy on you. Yeah, yeah, we're going four squatted. We're putting a pita on our porcupine. I know, I know, it's a little goofy. It's a little goofy. I think it was the right decision given the circumstances. You're gonna take my garlic. You're gonna steal my freaking sunshine. I don't think it's that relevant, but it's there's there's pain involved nonetheless. He's a genius. The PETA heard around the world. Probably uttered by Lois Griffin now that I think about it, but okay, take your buffs. Take your buffs. You gotta do what you gotta do, brother. Keep taking your buffs. I can't believe we're doing this all with a with a pug on our team. <laughs> Lion's getting very close to maxing, which is why I'm not giving him any more buffs. I lived. No, never mind that. Never. When I said I lived, I lied. But guess what? I lived. <laughs> Eight wins. The completely unnecessary four squad, pug me. Literally, like, I don't even want to add any of these units to the squad. I, I feel like it's better for us to just roll. Chili pepper? Chili... We, uh, lion is unnecessary. We don't need chili pepper. We need chocolate. Although chocolate and spicy can go well together. We don't want chili pepper. We just want the chocolate bar. We got the chilies at home. Please, please. He didn't donut. He didn't donut! We got a chance. We, get a, we don't have a chance, brother. We're through. Nine wins. Buff me. Place me. Buff me. Buff me. Place me. Just looking. 
I mean, a skunk would also, it's, it just seems like the right time to add something like a skunk, to be honest with you. And then we could have a level three porcupine, not that that's necessary, but we, we could. We could have a level three porcupine if we wanted. I think we got a good, sh a good shot here. Oh no, you're not quite at 50. Oh, but you're not quite at 50 either, you piece. Well, oh, but they got a 50-50 dog. They got me, they got me. Oh. <laughs> we still got one. I got, I've run over my headphone cord like 20 times here. Level me, level me. We'd rather have a level two skunk. We'd rather have a level two skunk. That's just me as an example of me doesn't happen very often. Using my brain. Please, for the love of God. I hate to see that death touch. I don't know. I don't think the eggplant screwed me up all that much. The death touch screwed me up enough, though. You need, like, a poster that's like... No, no disrespect, by the way. I do it myself. But we need a poster that says, like, congratulations, you bought a walrus. Like, it's just... Sometimes there's just one missing piece. A walrus. I guess they do it in the back of the head, but... So it takes the wind out of your sails a little bit, but that's up to you, you know? You're the one who, who put your sails in that direction. Be a fragile healer. You know, why, why'd you put your sails in a direction where they only catch favorable winds? Maybe you should invest in, I don't know, like a, an engine <laughs> or some oars. And then you can get where you want to go instead of having to be carried by the winds of faith. But I'm lit tired. Okay. Take this. Yeah, I just referenced, um, what is that ancient internet video called? Didn't take a nap. It's in fire the missiles. I remember that. I've been on the internet for a four score and seven years, I think, at this point. What is that, like 27? Summon a 2 1 groundhog. Any chance that, that we have a viable. Um, and don't just say no just because I asked a yes or no question, okay? Any chance we have a viable trumpet build in here? This is like a trumpet plus a summon. Royal flycatcher at the front. So it's, you know what? It's a strategy. You got to admit, at the end of the day, it is a strategy. We actually got our first win. Level me regardless. I know it's a, a turn early. But look, we got another pseudo strategy here. Take some stats. And if, I'm, if I may, give me something like this. This now seems, excuse me. Oh, not that relevant. Um, this now seems like a trumpet-focused squad that an antelope could fit into. Now, this guy looks like a straight shooter with middle management ridden all over him. Love it. Love it. Got to have it. Is that a reference to Cold Stone Creamery? You know what? I suppose it is. Summoning... Not that we had to, but summoning a 9-9 a nine -nine unit is pretty crazy uh like that for for the turn that we're on like that's kind of nutty not who i wanted to receive the buffs but we gotta give some support to our uh our ladybug and we get a level two elephant maybe a level two guinea fowl you know that the world's our burrito man still quite painful it's a relatively strong enemy crab I hear tell you have to attack his weak point for massive damage. We still won. That seems crazy to me because this team seems very uninspiring. But And yet, here we are. Go ahead, take some broccoli. Salad me. That's beautiful. Thank you so much. And then we're, we're not far from chocolate and we're not far from antelope. They could help us bridge the gap. My word, you're a strong unit. We did it again. <laughs> the most valuable honey ever purchased. I gotta get off of my headphone cord here. I apologize. I can't be trusted with this like 20 foot long headphone cord. I'm re if anything, I'm due for like, I, I've only proved that I deserve like a, I would say like a four inch headphone cord. 
I gotta put my head right next to the to the computer. I think we just love a skunk. It's a unit that can scale very well for us. This is extremely important. This could become important in the future. We roll. I was I was rooting for you. <laughs> I was rooting. I didn't start tooting yet, but I was rooting for you. And you've broken my heart. Now, why, you might say, why meat? And there's, I think, a, a valid question there. You should ask it to them because their meat just uh, owned me. But uh, the answer is that I want to be able to sell my moth at some point. And the point might be, like, right now. So be able to, like, just dump you and still have most of the benefit of what you have been giving me. Seems somewhat important. I'm not gonna buy a salad on this turn. It'll be, it'll be insane. I used to think you were crazy. Now I can see you're nuts. Okay, so we're gonna have level two guinea fowl, but we have fallen off a little bit. Holy cow, we're gonna kill the hippo. No, we're not. I'm mathematically not very intelligent. <laughs> Come on. How is your squad so... Oh, because you got three scaling units. Okay, write that down, write that down. Three scaling units help to scale your unit. Insanely important. If this is what we're choosing to run. Also very, very likely to be relevant. This is like our last chance here. Stop putting super strong units out there because it makes it hard for me to succeed. And that's mostly what I'm doing in life. That's where I'm deriving all of my confidence as a, as a gamer, as a human being. Oh my god, we won? Never mind. Keep doing what you're doing. You're doing great, kid. Level me? That means the pug can go because we can't really get it to work well. You, you can also go. You know what? With three life left, sell me. Lioness me. Level me. Lioness me. Lioness me. Tiger. We can't afford it right now. We'd love to put a tiger on this guinea fowl. I don't think it would necessarily be a long-term solution, but it would be something to help us like like bridge the gap temporarily. Do 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 Okay. Perfect math. Mathematics me. Perfectly me. 12 of those. Will it be enough? It's enough to draw, which is enough to not go down to 2 HP. And the lioness is a, is a long-term Marty, so... We're probably just looking for... I was just going to say more lionesses. Forget this, bro. Give me the double lioness. Very necessary. We might even say forget about you. I can't run triple lioness. I'll just, I'll put, I should have popped you on the other one for stat purposes. It's unlikely to matter, but I'm feeling pretty good because even if we go down to 2 HP, we have a plan, which is just buy anything because the units that we get from the shop are going to be 20 times stronger than the units that we already got. So right now, it's a little bit slash like exclusively all about survival. So mission failed immediately, but the lionesses don't take that long to tick in. To, to kick in, I should say. And then also, I mean, like, immediately. I know that's not going to give us the space, but just work with me, okay? We're probably replacing our elephant, if I had to guess. Or maybe just buying another elephant to put on top. We should get some better units out there. Like, this is generating... Realistically... You're probably generating, at most, eight trumpets for us per turn. So you know what? I'm making the hard decision for myself. Give me an Orca. It's a, it's a good unit. Look at the effects on the unit, on the card itself. A Lioness is fine. But you know what? We could totally run an Antelope and probably get the same amount of value that we were getting out of our... Uh, out of our Elephant combo. Love a level 3 skunk. It's just more stats anyway. Okay. Yeah, again, I probably don't need to tell you this. Not losing goes crazy. Winning is amazing, but not losing goes insane. 
I, if I had to guess, I would anticipate we will lose. We're not even generating even close to the amount of uh, trumpets that I thought we would. Again, all is not lost. When you got this lioness set up, all is not lost. Come out here. I'm going to say for now, do this and then drop another orca on him. Replace your antelope with a shark. Beautiful freeze if we manage to make it through this round. And I'm, I'm still feeling pretty good. Even though our units are like level one, this is, it has the makings of a potential, potential successful pivot. So they got a, a faint focused build. But I also have a faint focus build. I don't really have equipment, and they do, so I'm going to say that's a pro-microbe situation for us. My god. It was a little convoluted, but we got there. Yes. And yes. And yes. And then I'm like... I don't even know where I could put you. <laughs> So you could maybe, if I move you back one, move you up one, I could put a, a Pteranodon there. And then the idea is that the Pteranodon will at least make the Orca spit out one more faint pet, which is just one more pet that could possibly spit out another pet that faints, which could possibly, you get the idea. They altered our order, but they didn't alter it enough to really, to, to screw me up too badly. That screws me up kind of badly though. This will override the garlic at least. Not like this, brother. Not like this. Come on. At least let the let the, the Pteranodon kill you. Thank you so much. We still got there. It was very scary, but we still got there. We don't need you to hit level two. But we need to keep buying units for the stats, though. That's true. You know what? Um, go, go skunk first. The lioness can always happen later. Now, you just by yourself... You're going to spit out a 16-16 dog, which is the kind of thing that we can't afford to just turn up our nose at. But I don't know what I would replace. I mean, I guess to be honest with you, I would totally replace a Pteranodon with a 24-32 unit that spits out a 16-16 instead of basically forcing our Orca to spit out another unit at base stats. That's probably going to be horrible. The meme was fun, but I think we might be past it now. And this is now, we're in Miracle Ball territory. It could happen. So I'd say you're gone. You're out here. Mm. And it's, like, it's all like, Mer. No, you know it, man. I'm not going to buy one of these. Like our lioness almost gives us that much every turn on every single unit for free. Skunk is too valuable. Lioness, I would still say, is too valuable. If anything, the shark can go... But it's got to, it, I would much rather just buy another shark. That's very necessary. These are not necessary, but that's okay. I think, I know this seems crazy because you have so little stats right now. I think that the garlic's important and I'm hoping we're going to live long enough to buy another shark on you anyway. Which will like make your stats much better. Did they run a lioness team here? What happened? They go, oh, they put a tiger on their skunk. You mad geniuses. You princes of Maine. And, and you, you kings of New England as well. We're toast. Um, wait, maybe. Oh! Maybe the garlic saved our lives. Come on. <laughs> hit me. I want you to hit me. I mean, just more. Not garlic. Peter would go crazy on this. Oh, another shark. <laughs> They, we don't even need anything else because it's already like a 50-50. I still want the lioness out there. Just Have I ever had a level three lion? I have. Okay, well, I still want it out there because I want it out there, okay? I'm the dude playing the game. You know what might go a little pog crazy, though? I'm willing to jettison and throw out a 31-31 scorpion. And you know what I'm willing to do? I'm willing to put it just in front of our shark so that it kills a big unit that might otherwise kill our shark. 
I know this is a start of battle effect. You just happen to have the most HP. So this, that's my new strat. 31-31 Scorpion. That's like, we don't even need a Walrus. We skipped the middleman. They've already got 38. Um, 38 Trumpets. That's a lot. But I got I got Death Touch. They got Death Touch too, but I got they don't have any Death Touch. And I do have Death Touch. They do have a level 2 Shark though. Wait, but their Shark has almost been killed. I'm so barely not going to live, but look at this. We still crush them. We got to we got to nine. What a great weekly this week is. This is so like it's it's just the, the diversity of options here is crazy. You might as well level. I'd I'd love you to be out there. I'd love you to hit level two at least, but that's not gonna happen. I guess I'm just gonna throw like a little eggplant on you just to maybe mess up their life a little bit. You're probably going to have a 50-50 in the front. I think this, this squad order is fine. Give it a chance. What did I tell you? They, I said they're probably going to have a 50-50 in the front. There's their 50-50. We, we at least minimize the value of their pita. But the rest of their squad looks like insanely terrifying. The ink didn't quite do what I needed it to do. But wait a minute. Wait a minute. We win these, we win these, and then oh, you, you, I don't even have to tell you we win those. And you, you doubted me. Not at the end, but probably like the whole, the, the middle for sure. Well, well, well. Hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. I'm a great deal. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!